Okay, so let's start uh, adding the bump maps and see where they should go. So we need to examine these reference images a bit carefully so we can see where these lines, different lines should go. Uh, so yeah, let's begin by marking these ones here. So we can go to Photoshop. Uh, we don't need these here. We, we, I was just showing you and the different areas. So we need to first mark out uh, are the ones that go around here. So uh, we can go select a pen tool and uh, you don't need to fill it. We just need a stroke. Uh, let's see how this line. So then we can uh, draw lines running from, let's see. No, I would just drag this image into Photoshop so that it's easier for me to see how things are running, how these lines are running. So they start from around here. And go like that so we can uh, duplicate this. Hmm. What's going on here? They're intersecting. Also, what we can do is uh, just Select that, make another one. Like that, maybe bring them. Move them closer to each other. Now I can duplicate this. I don't know if there was there is an easier way to do this, but uh, Since they are not even going out to this side, they, they don't completely do that. So let's see. If, let's first uh, save this and see how it renders on the image. We just need to come back here and uh, go to UV image, uh, load uh, that image and then reload. So this is how that looks. Looks like this. Hmm, interesting, interesting. How about if I just deleted everything here and I just drew lines? Hmm. 
because this would be much easier. So save again, reload, Alt R, and uh, we would have something like this. I think this is going to be easier and uh, we can just uh, straighten the UVs here to make them curved if you want. Or just come here and uh, cut this part out. So let's, we can also now reduce the size here without worrying. And uh, I think the resolution here is a bit too small so we can double the resolution of this image so maybe save this as well. Uh, to four to two two K so that we are working in a high resolution image. Uh, if you're seeing that we can just remove reduce The lines. So let's see. And uh, if you want, then we can add a mask. So let's see. This is the line. We can add a mask. A layer mask are following the curve here. I think it goes like this. Mask out those edges. Fury Road, you can see it's following that curve. It's not perfect, but I think it works. The problem is that I'm not even seeing at the backside. I think this, let's see, if this curve, let me bring back that path, should come, this curve here, should come to around here like this. Red clipping mask. So we need this to be our layer mask. So let's uh, disable everything else. Save again. And uh, refresh. Now we can come back to shading and just see how this would render. Uh, turn back the bevel, turn. Uh, let's switch off uh, simplify. And uh, we need this to be our bump or displacement. So uh, for this to work well, we need uh, the background to be are gray so that it doesn't displace anything because white uh, displaces but uh, gray doesn't so this is supposed to be 50 percent 50 uh, everything should be 50 uh, is it or oh, it should be six 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 is it c c c i'm not even sure what gray is but uh, i think it should be around here around there so okay 
and uh, this should be oh we can just pick a color from here i think it's supposed to be this so now uh, we can uh, save this Easy, refresh. You can see the displacement. Let me see what what should be the value of uh, gray. Gray value. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. X X value. Okay, so let's go back to Photoshop. So this is the hex value of gray. Uh, it is that. Now we can save, and uh, we can also reduce on these here, so that it's not too too strong by reducing the opacity so now if we save this let's see how what happens go to uv refresh shading now we can also reduce uh, the amount here by adding a math node and changing the operation to multiply and now we can use maybe 0 0.1 you can see that looks much better but uh, you can see that there is some kind of ant aliasing issues we are running into uh, what you can do is uh, just I blur these lines a bit uh, so that uh, they're not too sharp so uh, the problem with that is that I would have to rasterize this uh, this here and uh, we wouldn't be able to make any changes to that uh, but I think that's okay so I'm not sure how these lines are running they, they seem to be running like this but um, yeah, so to do that in Photoshop, you can just go and uh, hit Ctrl T. Just select this. Make sure you have everything selected. Hit, hit Ctrl T. Uh, there should also be. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You just Ctrl T, and then you will get this option here. Uh, but uh, it, you need to have everything selected here. So. Let me first disable this so that I can select everything here. Then Ctrl T and then turn on this warp uh, thingy and then change this to curve. But uh, that's too much, so we need to reduce the amount of bend to a negative amount. Something like that. Apply. And uh, we will need to blur this, so I'll just make a duplicate here and then rasterize that and then filter blur, box blur. Just a small blur, not too much. I, th I think maybe two. Let's try four. Yeah, no, that's too much. Let's try three. Or two. Now, if we save this, we can. Let's see what happens. So, UV reload. I'll save. You can see now they're not too sharp. Now, let's try increasing this. 
uh, to point something like uh, point zero five. Maybe point. Let's see if we clamp. If we use clamp, what happens? This needs to be around point two. So we just need this. Uh, down here as well so we can go to Photoshop bring this back and also our UV grid then we can duplicate this Control J and uh, move that down Control G we can come back to the warp and uh, change the bend back I think we, we can also come back to these, duplicate them. I don't know if I'm seeing anything here. Let me, let me first delete this. I think I think you get the concept so I'm just going to be detailing detailing this in the background and then uh, I'll see you in the next part where I added this or maybe I'll just speed this up so thank you